I just built this web scraper in Python using cursor without writing a single line of code because cursor wrote code for me. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to scrape all of the books with five star ratings only. So you can see some of the books have like three stars, some of the books have one star. So I wanted to scrape only five star books from here. So what I did, I scraped, I like, I built this scraper and then I scraped these books with five star ratings only. So this is the result from scraper. It has scraped only the books with five star ratings. Not only that, it has scraped their title, it has scraped the prices, and then it has scraped if this book is in stock or not, and then also the five star rating of that book. And then when, when you click on this button, it will take you to that book's URL. All of that I have built in cursor within less than five minutes without writing even a single line of code. But the problem is when you try to scrape a website, most of the times it will just block your IP address it won't let you scrape their data. Sometimes when you try to scrape a website in a certain geographical location, it just won't let you scrape. So we got the solution for that as well. And the solution is tulip.io tulip twlip dot io this is a premium proxies website and this will actually give you freedom to scrape any website from anywhere without getting blocked you can see they provide premium proxies for different geographical locations like europe and inside europe there are all of these different locations then north america latin america asia india vietnam china indonesia thailand and then there are like plenty of other countries you can see that like all of these countries in here only in asia they have different kind of products like shared data center proxies global is proxies, rotating residential proxies, dedicated data center proxies, and search engine ISP proxies. You know the best thing? It is free to use. You can simply just sign up without attaching any of your credit card information and you can just choose this package for absolutely for free. And even if you have to like pay for something, it is absolutely like dirt cheap. You can like just pay for $1.99. You can like get five proxies for that. This is just like amazing. And you can like pay via pay by weekly, by monthly maybe. Monthly is only $2.99. So if you're going to like build a really serious, like some sort of like good scraping project, this is solution for you to like make sure that your scraper can actually scrape data with freedom without having any issues. Link for this tool is provided in description. You can just use that link to access it for free. All right, let's get back to our project. I'm going to give you this brief step-by-step -step guide that how you can build this project from scratch without having any coding knowledge. First thing that you need to do is you need to set up Python environment on your computer. How you can do that? You can simply just go to Python and download Python. For if you are using window, you can simply just use window. Or if you're using Mac, you can simply just use Mac and side go inside downloads and then use any of these versions for Windows. This is download uh, this for Windows. So just click on this button. It will download Python and then by simply just clicking next, 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 download and make sure to you set up your environment variable for Python. There is a se separate video for that, but this is very easy process. As soon as you will download that, it will be installed on your computer. Next thing, once you have downloaded Python, make sure that you have installed cursor on your computer what is cursor cursor is just an ai code editor you can download it for free and then you can use it for free either on windows or on mac after that once you have cursor installed on your computer just look for cursor and then open it next thing that you need to do simply just click on open a folder and then choose folder where you want to create this project i'm actually going to create this project i will call it web scraper and i will just give it a name web scraper python and that's it simply just do that and next thing that you need to do simply just click on the stop two buttons to make your interface something like this next thing that you need to do simply without bothering with anything else you just need to copy this prompt i will provide this prompt inside in my description so just copy this prompt from here paste this prompt here the prompt says create a simple web scraper to scrape this website the website url whatever website you want to use just give a website url here this website has a books for sale we need to scrape all of the books on the first page with five star ratings i will i want to develop this scraper in python that's only guide i mean you can give it any any further details or any specific guides based on your own requirements but this is what i needed i just needed to build a simple web scraper that scrape data from this website and then like shortlist like just shortlist or scrape data of books with five star ratings and then just present it on web so we're just gonna do that and make sure that you select this agent option this way actually it will set up all of these files and create all of these files itself automatically right inside your project directory once you have done that simply just click on submit so now next cursor will do its job if you don't know how to write code cursor will 
do everything for you. So what cursor will do? It will create a requirements.txt file. What is requirement.txt file? This is very similar to the way we actually have the pa packages file inside next.js or inside maybe any any Node.js project. So this is very similar to that. Just click, just keep clicking on next, next, next. Let's just see what it has done. It has created us very basic scraper.py file. It has added URL of that website that we wanted to scrape and that's it. That, that, that's what it has done. Now what we need to do, we need to simply just run this command in here. I will just do that. I'll just click on that and it will just run this command in here. It will install these uh, required. Uh, so it, it actually installed beautiful soup. What is beautiful soup? It's a web scraper that we use to scrape uh, websites in mostly in Python. So this is just like, uh, this is absolutely for free to use. You don't have to like sign up for anything. There is another alternative that you can use instead of beautiful soup. That is, you can use maybe something like fire crawl. So fire crawl is another web scraper. Uh, I will create a separate video for that, but fire crawl, but it will cost you money for that. Uh, it has a free, uh, uh, account but it will cost you money for that so it is better when it comes to like scraping up to uh like if you're going to scrape on a on a on a bigger scale perfect okay so what what i'm gonna do i'm just next gonna run this script this scraper.py by running this command in my terminal so i'll just do that simply just run that and then what it what it does it just scraped these four books with five star ratings you can just see it has just scraped that and that's it that's what you need and it, the results are saved in dot json file but this is in terminal so we just want to like show this data showcase this data on our web browser so this is why we're gonna do something which is called python flask so we're just gonna like ask it to present this data on a web browser so that way what we're gonna do this data that it has just scraped it will just present that data on on, on, a, on a website by the way we just because we just scraped this data now this is in in json format we can like fetch this data anywhere we can fetch this data on a on a next.js website on a on a react website on a any maybe like a react native website sorry react native on a mobile application of uh, react native or flutter wherever you want we can just like fetch that data because it's in it's in json format so next thing that we need to do let's just ask it to i can see the scraper is working fine it has scraped data of four books with five star ratings but it is showing this data on terminal please present this data in web browser using flask i'll just enter that and now it will do it will just create a flask web application to display this so it will just install flask for us inside it, it has just added that in there i'll just click on accept and that's it i'll just click on accept now I'll create template directory it will just create a basic template directory to present like that interface for us. Now let's create our HTML template with a modern responsive design. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. I have created a complete Flask web application with a beautiful UI to display the web script. Okay, so now we need to run this application once again. Just, sorry, run, run this command once again to install Flask in, into our project. Next, we need to run the Flask app. So we need to just run our this again, right? So now what we're gonna do, we, we need to access this URL, this certain URL on localhost, and it will just show us. Hold on, let me just, uh, make sure that this other project was actually running let me just close that project the other project and now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna open this url let me just open this url hold on in here so i'll just run that and that's it perfect awesome it has scraped not only the names of the books but it has scraped like the prices it has scraped the images and all of that data and then you can just like if there is any new book added in the on this website with the better ratings with like five five star ratings on this page so it will just like add any new book in there so there is a refresh book button you can simply just click on this button and then it will just like add uh, any new books with five star ratings so this was our simple web scraper application that we just created you can download the source code for this application from github the link is provided in description in next few videos we'll create more complex web scraping applications like there might be some websites that we need to scrape that has captcha enabled on there so that means whenever you open on that url it will actually ask you to fill that captcha so we'll actually we will use something for that as well and then we'll use a tulip for like better performance for our scraping so i'm going to create a series of videos about web scraping where i'll cover almost every possible scenario and every possible issue that you face during web scraping please do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel i see you next video Bye bye